Hi folks, Robin here at Toadstool Tarot, and today I'm responding to a VR from Levi about the court cards. Now, the court cards are my least favorite part of the tarot deck. And if you think about it, the tarot is almost divided into three parts. The major arcana, the minor arcana, and the court cards. I mean, the court cards are part of the minor arcana, but they're almost their own thing. And I respond to them in a way that may be different from most people. A lot of people use them as significators or identifying as people. I read all the cards in the deck as actions. So each card I look at has an action um, to advise me. And I also read cards in layers. So first I look at a card and see what is that card doing? And if I need more, I add another layer onto it. Okay, what is the traditional meaning of that card according to the label on the card? And then maybe I go beyond that and I go, okay, what is the number or the rank of the card? Uh, what is the suit that the card is from, the element? And I put all these things in. Recently, I've um, adopted a couple new layers that I can use. And one of them is I look at the car, court cards as authority figures, which is probably why I don't like them, because I don't handle authority very well. But what I mean by that is the page is the lowest rank, and pages in the old days, page, pages were the ones who delivered the messages, the carriers. Uh, they delivered information to and from the king, uh, from various kingdoms to other kingdoms, and so forth. So I think of the pages as our postal system. There are male men and women. Um, they deliver messages. Often they're bills, which are unpleasant, but sometimes they're packages what we look forward to. Next up, we have the knights, and the knights are our police force and our um, soldiers. They carry out the orders of our leaders and uh, uh, make everything supposedly run smoothly and civilly. You know, not usually the case in government, but that was the intent to keep things in order. Follow the king's or president's order, or emperor's order, and uh, make us all safe. Next we have the queens. The queens to me um, have a lot of power, but it's almost power on the local level or the judicial level. To me, the queens are like the rule makers, the lawmakers, the judges, um, local government, um, governors, uh, senators, congressmen, mayors, um, that sort of thing. And then at the top you have the figureheads, which are the kings. So the kings are, you know, the kings, the presidents, the emperors, um, in England, I guess you'd say the queen is really the king because she's the figurehead. And then you have below that um, the uh, prime minister. So, and they basically don't do very much. I mean, I guess maybe they have the ultimate power or something over the land, but they are not seen to be particularly active. Usually it's the people below them that carry out um, all the orders in the system or whatever. Now I have another way to look at the courts, and that's related to the game of chess. Because tarot is a card game. It's like 
a game of chess in a way. And for that, I look at the pages as the pawns. The pawns move across the board, across the land. Um, the pawns, like pages, basically deliver or move, take messages across the board. They go a great distance, very slowly. Then you have um, the knights, which are more speedy in their action, carrying messages that need to be delivered quickly, uh, fighting in the army, uh, carrying out the king's orders um, in battle. And they move um, a little more quickly and a little more unpredictably than the pawns. They, they move in a sort of an L shape, taking left turns here and there. And um, you can't always as easily tell where they're going to come from. So um, ambush, surprise attack, that sort of thing. Then we have the queens. Now, the queens, I feel like they have the most, in, in a way, the most power and the most flexibility. They can move all the way across the board in any direction very quickly, uh, very expeditiously um, and they can do a lot of work but they also often put themselves in harm's way they have to be very careful and, and diplomatic about how they do this so they don't uh, that they aren't taken off the board and lastly you have the kings the kings also can move in any direction but they don't move much they basically sit on their throne and point to people within one block of either direction around them like you go here you go there you know you do this or that i'm just going to sit here on the throne and i'm the director i'm going to direct the action of the, the game so i thought those were kind of intriguing new ways to think about the court cards and add extra layers into readings if you find any of this helpful or useful great <laughs> enjoy um beyond that i haven't thought much more about the court cards but uh I thought I'd share this with you today, and uh, stay well, be well, and I will see you all again soon.